Hi, in this video, we will take a look at why your computer, Windows PC, not recognizing your phone. When you are plugging your phone into the computer, the computer may show us nothing or empty folders. So here are the nine ways you can try to fix the problem. Now the first thing is to make sure that you are using a genuine Samsung USB cables. Now not USB cables are the same. Uh, some, some cables are designed to um, to charge only uh, while the genuine cables are ch charging at the same time as well as the data transfer so in order for um, for the computer to recognize the phone make sure that you are using a genuine uh, USB cables even though third party cables sometimes still works uh, with um, charging and uh, data transfer but for the best result always to make sure that the, the cable that you are using um, have the capability to transfer data so that's one of the first thing you, you should check is the cables. Okay, the next thing that you want to try is make sure that you try all the different USB ports. Now you can see I got one, two, three, here, four. And uh, one of the ports is not working. So sometimes if you plug the USB uh, cable into the wrong ports, it may not work. And uh, especially uh, with newer computers, sometimes certain ports will not work. So this one here is a USB 2. This one here is USB 3. So you can see even though they are the same, uh, it looks the same, but they have uh, different functions. So on your computer, make sure you plug in, try different ports and wait for a few seconds. When you are plugging your the cables into the ports and when you are plugging the cables into the phone, your phone should make a sound to indicate that the phone is recognizing an input, a USB input. And then from there, it can decide what to do. So try different USB ports and make sure uh, all the USB ports are working correctly. Sometimes certain port is not working. So definitely um, try the front, try the back of the computer as well. At the back of your computer, you also have some USB ports, which you can try. So try all of them a couple of times and see if that helps. Okay, number three, make sure that the USB port is nice and clean. If it's not nice and clean, then um, you may have issues. So look into the charging port right here and make sure it is uh, free of dust and debris. If there is any dust, yeah, make sure you clean them and uh, make sure and uh, ensure that it is nice and clean. Also make sure the USB port on the computer is nice and clean. Make sure there are no dust uh, causing uh, connection issues. Okay, number four. Make sure your phone screen is unlocked. Now, if it is locked, you can see on my computer, it recognizes the Samsung Galaxy S10, but the folder is empty. So make sure your phone is unlocked. So unlock the screen. Once you unlock the screen, you can see my computer will recognize my phone. Okay, for the fix number five, when you are plugging in your phone, sometimes uh, the USB connection is set to something else and not data transfer. So you want to swipe down at the top here and then tap on USB charging or whatever it is up here. Uh, it's, it might say USB something, so tap on that and then tap on for other USB options. And here you can see it's a um, use USB for transferring files. USB tethering, MIDI, transferring images, charging phone only. So if for some reason your phone is set to charging phone only, then your computer will not recognize your phone. So choose transfer files. Once you do that, your computer should show um, the phone uh, folder. So I'm going to click on this PC and then click on Galaxy S10 Plus. And you can see in here it recognizes the card and the phone memory. So always, uh, if you want to transfer data, make sure that it is set to transferring files. And all you have to do is just to um, swipe down at the top and choose uh, the USB options. And then tap on it again. Okay, fix number six is to check for device driver's error. Now sometimes um, your Windows PC uh, may delete the drivers for some reason and uh, you can see here in device managers I got Samsung mobile USB composite device sometimes that's gone missing or the, the drivers has an error you may need to reinstall again 
you can check it by simply in the search box on your Windows 10 uh, type in device manager so I'm going to open up device manager and then we go down to universal serial bus controllers expand that and you can see here I got Samsung mobile USB composite device if you click on that you can try to click on the driver tab at the top and try to update driver or uh, reinstall another way you can do it is to install a Samsung smart switch the smart switch allow you to backup um, files to, uh, from your phone to your computer and it allows you to do um, other things as well so um, you can go to the Samsung website and install smart switch uh, when you install the smart switch it will automatically uh, install the drivers yes uh, for the phone now you can see here I have uh, plugged in the phone already and it detects the phone connected is the Samsung Galaxy S10 plus you can see in here I can perform backup restore and syncing outlook if I click on the more button at the top here I can reinstall device driver as you can see and say do I want to reinstall the USB drivers so you might want to install the Samsung smart switch and that will install the drivers on your PC and uh, that will allow the computer to recognize your phone so if for some reason uh, say an antivirus software could have uh, deleted the drivers then therefore your computer will not be able to recognize your phone now okay for fix number seven what you can do is disconnect your phone from your current computer so disconnect it then you want to bring your phone to a different computer and connect it to a different computer if you don't have a comp another computer at home you can go to your friends uh, or even your neighbors and ask them if they can plug in your phone and see if the other computer recognizes your phone if the other computer recognizes the phone that means your phone is not the problem it could be um, the computer that you are, the, you are using so as I say if your computer is is the problem try to reinstall the drivers now if your friend's computer or your other computer recognize the phone um, doesn't recognize the phone I mean so if it doesn't recognize the phone it could be the phone's problems then you might want to go back to the phone and check um, the USB ports make sure they are clean and make sure all the settings are set, set correctly so that um, it allows uh, data and a data file to be transferred to the computer and allow the computer to recognize the phone number eight now if you have tried everything I have mentioned previously and it still doesn't work you may want to perform a factory reset of your phone now factory reset the phone can be a real headache because you have to set up everything again so make sure you back up your um, data so you can log into your Samsung cloud and back up your data to the cloud or you can back up to the Google cloud and make up you make sure you back up all your contacts data anything that you want to retain make sure you back them up and then after that you can perform a factory reset so you can uh, go into your phone and factory your uh, reset your phone so go into settings and then go into general management and then tap on reset and here tap on factory data reset and try to reset the device and see if that helps sometimes it may reset the device back to the factory defaults and uh, clear all the error but this is the last option that you want to do because uh, performing a factory data reset can cause a lot of headache um, because you have to set your phone up again and restore all your data and if it still doesn't work after a factory data reset then you probably want to go to the fix number nine which is uh, go online or you can make a phone call to Samsung support and ask them for further help because um, I think if you have tried all of the above that means you have exhausted all the options and the only way is to um, get Samsung to, uh, to help you out and ask them why your computer is not recognizing your phone so those are the nine fix to get you um, uh, have your phone working on the computer as well so have your rec computer recognizes your samsung galaxy s10 s10e or the s10 plus thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more videos